Today, I want to do a full review of the Venom Hammer Lomachenko Edition boxing gloves. So this, this is actually, uh, I've done an unboxing and walk around of these gloves before. This is actually the first, th that was the first video I ever made and put on YouTube. So uh, taking it back here, but I've had these gloves for a while now. Um, a handful of you have, have asked in comments of that video and others if I could do a full review of the gloves. So um, yeah, wanted to put that together for you. So just a little bit of background about the gloves and Lomachenko. Um, if, this is, if you didn't see the previous video, um, Lomachenko, he's my favorite boxer. Um, he had a very long, very successful amateur career and then turned pro. Um, first few fights he wore, he wore like Cleto Reyes one fight. I think he wore Grant one fight, a couple random ones, but then eventually he got with Rival and he wore Rival gloves exclusively for the majority of his career up until a few years ago when very surprising to me and I think to a lot of other people in the boxing community, he switched to Venom. Um, so if you, you don't see a lot of professional boxers boxing in Venom, you'll see Lomachenko do it, Jorge Linares are probably the two biggest people they have on their uh, team. Recently, Venom has been picked up as the official brand for UFC. So you see it more in like mixed martial arts, kickboxing, jujitsu, stuff like that. So it's not one of these traditional um, boxing, professional boxing powerhouses. Um, so when Lomachenko switched over to him, uh, sorry, when Lomachenko switched over to Venom, I was very curious in what were they going to do for him. And it was around that time when Venom added a completely new line of boxing gloves. So they have they're kind of regular, a lot of different uh, models of gloves in the 80-ish to $100 range that are um, very thick padded on the palm area and the wrist area. And again, this being more designed for like Muay Thai and mixed martial arts. Um, but then they launched a professional boxing line shortly before getting Jorge Linares and Lomachenko. And these gloves are part of that professional boxing line. So they have the hammers, the shields, and the giants. And these are the hammer gloves. All right, so to get started, we'll do a walk around the glove and I'll kind of show you, you know, the, the leather, the stitching materials, and just kind of show you the makeup of the glove real quick. All right, so a quick walk around the glove. So first thing, design. You know, you see these, uh, the, these like Venom, not surprising, really loud kind of out there colorways with this, um, you know, blue and like neon green sort of yellow, kind of paying homage to uh, Ukraine where Lomachenko is from. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be kind of like snakeskin or what here, like with the diamonds and stuff, but really out there, venom all over the place. Um, you know, if that's not your style, then the, these gloves aren't for you. But you know, I'm a big Loma fan, got his name on the palm. Uh, so, you know, I don't mind. And I don't mind, you know, occasionally having a glove that's kind of out there too, but definitely loud um, and bright colors. Um, the leather quality, I think, is very nice. So they use this Argentinian Napa leather. Um, you can see on the wrist area, you know, you can see the grain, same along the palm. This side a little bit less because of the color, um, but they say um, that the leather has been treated and what they're referring to is this leather up here so the back of the thumb and up in this palm area so you can I mean, you can kind of see a grain down in there but when you feel this you're not feeling really feeling the grain it's very smooth um, almost as if there's this part of the glove from like here up has been dipped in some sort of treatment so it's very smooth very glossy feeling um, it's not good or bad, just is what it is, um, but it is a different feel. Um, but overall, the quality of the leather I think is great and has held up really nice. Um, this treatment up here I think helps the hand compartment hold its shape uh, well. And then this soft leather here along the palm and wrist helps when you lace it up, kind of cinch down around your hand and wrist. So that's nice. Um, stitching, I think they've done a, I think the stitching is really nice and has held up well. So along the back of the wrist, along the back of the thumb, very tight. 
here, I think it could be cleaned up around the fingertip area. Um, so, and it's, you know, a tiny bit exposed there where it maybe doesn't need to be, but then it cleans up along the, the rest, along the palm area. Um, it's looking at it's black thread, so it's a little hard to see over on this black side. But again, along the fingertip, it, it you know could look a little nicer. And I don't know if that's because this leather here is a little thicker because of the treatment, but you know it hasn't busted or anything. So overall, stitching is pretty good. Um, the liner, so it has a satin liner. Um, honestly, it's okay. It, it's comfortable. It's fine enough. But at this price point, I would like something nicer. Um, I'll get into the price point uh, kind of in the wrap up of the video. It just feels thin. It, it hasn't broken through yet, but it's just kind of always this concern I have that eventually one day um, it's just going to kind of give out because it's because it is so thin. Um, but you can see it's it's held up well. It's just and it's smooth enough. It's not uncomfortable. Um, I would just again at this price point like something a little bit nicer. So. Yeah, that's a quick walk around the glove. All right, so that's the makeup of the glove, um, which is really important. Uh, probably most important for me is fit and feel. So I'm gonna put these on and kind of give you my, you know, my impression of them. So these are 14 ounce uh, in weight and they are lace up. Um, kind of going area by area. So fingertip compartment, it's a little, it's a little snug, both fingers being close together like side by side as well as from the front like the back of my fingernails to the pads of my fingers this area kind of pinched that's not a bad thing it's not uncomfortable um, it just is what it is um, i do it would be nice if the fingertip area was just the a tiny bit deeper so i could just kind of sink my hand into it a little bit more but I am still able to make a really nice fist and my knuckles do line up well in this punching surface, which I'll get into, but it would be nice if it was just a little bit deeper. They do have um, along the fingertip area, it's completely covered in leather that feels like this leather in the wrist area. So nice leather, smooth, comfortable. You can't feel any stitching. No, f I, and this is held up, you know, for as long as I've had them. So it's a comfortable thing for your fingertips to kind of grip down on and use. So yeah, so that's the fingertip area. Knuckle area. This is um, my favorite part of these gloves is this padding and this knuckle area. So you can, you can see here, you know, a really nice flat punching surface. Um, also, you can see this padding, you know, I'm pressing kind of, kind of tough, you know, not that's, you know, harder, but it's, this is a firm protective padding. So the ham, and that's, that's how their hammer gloves are designed to be. It's a uh, multi-layer foam, very protective sort of cushion, not a plush soft pillowy one. If you like a pillowy glove, that would be their shield version of their pro gloves. If you want something in between the hammer and the shield, you do the giant. Um, the hammer, these, this is the version of the gloves that Lomachenko fights with. So in his, in his actual fights, he wears the hammer. If you watch him train, occasionally he has on the hammer, but most of the time that I see in the videos that are posted is he wears the shields and that's the really big plush pillowy type ones. So very firm protective padding here. And my favorite part about this, you know, using these on the bag and on the mitts is you just get really good feedback, really good crack on the bag. Just really solid, really nice. So that's, that's my favorite part of the glove. Hand compartment area, comfortable back of here, nice and square. Um, tapers in the slightest bit, not a ton, um, very protective on the palm side. I have, you know, three quarters of an inch of space here and these are 14 ounce. Um, so plenty of room. It's the 14 ounce I would say is on the compact side. My hand's not swimming around or moving in there. Um, FYI, the 16 ounce version of these gloves 
are much larger than these 14 ounce ones. So just as an FYI, if you get a 16 ounce version, I imagine your hand would be kind of, at least my hands would be kind of swimming in the hand compartment. 14 ounce, we're good. Wrist area, nice and padded, um, you know, flat padding on the palm side here. You can get uh, real, you know, these are lace up, so really great wrist support. Um, no issues there. And you can see it, it kind of tapers down, um, so, so no problem there. The thumb. So on this side, we got the Lomachenko. The, the shape, I feel like they're kind of going for a, a winning thumb here. This is the piece of the glove that is my least favorite, is the thumb. Um, in my opinion, because of the placement of this seam, it is, it's too high. Because it's too high, there is, from my webbing here to where the seam is, um, there is a lot of space. Now, I don't, I don't want it all the way down in my webbing to where it's you know cutting into there and kind of cutting off the blood supply to that part of my hand, or that it's just kind of rubbing on the webbing and it's, re webbing and it's really uncomfortable. But this one is so far above uh, where the webbing of my thumb and hand is that uh, my thumb, it's just, it moves around in here too much um, to where sometimes it kind of gets jammed up in here um, and on the bag or mitts or whatever, like it, it kind of jams the tip of the thumb. So I have to be pretty conscious at the start of a workout to get my thumb a little lower and then I grip in like that um, to kind of hold it there. Um, and then I don't, so that I don't jam my thumb. I've never injured my thumb. I've never done it, but like, it's, it's just a little uncomfortable. So that is my one, uh, piece of improvement. If I could change these gloves in any way is I would just get this seam and just move it down just a little bit. The shape, this part is comfortable. Um, it's nice and smooth on the back. The same lining they have in the glove runs along the back. This is nicely padded. Um, and, it, and it's pretty ergonomic and as far as the, the, the curved shape here, you know, kind of going for a winning look, but it's just up a little too high and I don't have another pair of glove that is like that. So, um, you know, I think that's unique to these. So that's, uh, that's my one gripe. Fit and feel. This is a 14 ounce. This is a nice compact feel, not tight, but nice and nice and snug. Um, grip bars in a good spot. Um, when these are laced up um, and cinched in, my, my hand and wrist doesn't go anywhere. Very protective uh, padding, very firm padding, not pillowy, uh, multi-layered foam that just gives excellent feedback, really good crack along uh, uh, on the bag and on the mitts. Something you may, so, something to point out, you know, regarding this leather, um, like I showed in the walk around, this leather kind of looks and feels different than this leather. They say that this leather, while it is the same, that it's been treated, and this leather down on the wrist has not been treated. It's that treating, so I'll kind of get it close to my mic. So I'm really, I'm trying to make that noise happen. I'm pushing this thumb against this area. But because of that treatment, it, it just has, it's like it's been dipped in something. Um, so you do get that kind of squeaky feel when the thumb, when, which has also been treated, rubs up against this part of the leather that's been treated. I personally don't care, but for some people, that squeaking might just drive you up the wall and might just be too much. I think it's nice because the leather has held up well, the color has held up well, and I think it's partly because of that treatment. So, you know, pro, kind of a give and take uh, with that there. Um, but it's just along the back side. Palm side, this leather is kind of smooth and grainy like the, the leather along the back. Um, but yeah, that's the overall fit and feel of these gloves. All right, so in summary, um, for these Venom Hammer 14 ounce Lomachenko edition boxing gloves, you know, what do I think? Um, I think, so this glove at 14 ounce, excellent for training, uh, mitt work, excellent on the bag. Um, if I were gonna use a pair of Venom gloves for sparring, personally, I wouldn't use the hammer. I'm not saying you can't, um, in the 16 ounce size with them being larger, 
maybe it wouldn't be a problem, but these at 14 ounce and, and kind of compact in this very firm padding, it could get a little rough um, uh, on your partner. I would use the Venom Shield um, version of these gloves. Very similar pattern, very similar colorway, but a very different padding. Very plush, very pillowy. Um, and that is the one, like when you see Lomachenko sparring in his training camps, those are the ones he uses. He actually uses the Shield one on the, on the bag a lot as well um, to, to protect his hands. So for whatever that's worse, and he fights in the hammer version. So I think these are great for training. Personally, I would not use these for sparring, but depending on your partner, depending on the gym, like, you know, maybe they'll let that fly. Um, if you're a Lomachenko fan, obviously this is a good pick. Price point. So these are, these are $300. Um, if you are not a Lomachenko fan, $300 is a bit overpriced for these. I, when I got these, I got them for 30% off. So that made them $210. If the, and that's closer to the range of just their Venom Hammer Pro gloves that are not the Lomachenko or Linares version. Um, if they put these gloves, so if um, the Lomachenko in the 250 range and they put the hammer gloves that are not Lomachenko edition in the 180 to 200 range, I think both sets of gloves would sell a lot better and that those are more appropriate price points for the gloves. Um, because at $300 you're competing against uh, some of the best of the best gloves that are out there. Um, and while these are really nice, I think they fall a little short and don't have the history of those gloves. Um, but since I was able to get these for 210, I think that's a great price point. And it's not uncommon for Venom to offer sales in the 20 to 30% range. So you could wait for one of those and snag them. Um, so I, if you're a Loma fan, these gloves are for you. If you really like good crack feedback on the bag, um, I think these are really good. If you want an all around glove that you can use on the bag and spar with, I would do the shield version of these and not the hammer gloves. Um, but me being a big Loma fan, I really love these gloves. I'm glad I have them, have no intention of selling them or getting rid of them. Like to train in them. My only gripe is the thumb, but you know, it's, it's, it's not a danger. Like I've, I've never injured my thumbs and I, and I don't think I will. So I'll continue to use them. Um, but yeah, that's my overall impression and uh, you know, kind of feel for the glove and who I think would like it. And uh, if you can get it on sale for a little bit, then, uh, and you're a Lomachenko fan, it's an, it's an easy steal. Um, if you're not a Loma fan, you know, getting them on sale and you really like that crack on the bag, you know, I think this glove could be good for you too. So that's my review of the gloves. Um, if you didn't see my original walk around, that was my first video, I'll link that up here. Um, so that was my first video I made, uh, unboxing of these gloves. Um, please like, and subscribe, uh, to my channel. I'm getting really cl pretty close to a thousand subscribers. So that's a big milestone that I've been shooting for. I would really appreciate it if you could, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. Um, I'll do a comparison of these Lomachenko gloves versus the rival RFX Guerrero Lomachenko gloves. I have those as well. Um, so we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss that. Um, and follow me on Instagram, Jordan Miller on YouTube. Um, I post there, you know, about videos, answer product questions. If, uh, it, you know, if I'm able, happy to share advice to people I uh, interact with there as well. So appreciate you guys taking out, the, checking out this video and I'll see you guys next time.